his elves, um, Wolf and Ian, one of which is, I think indeed Ian, played by, uh, is, and his two elves, Wolf, played by, um, and, and then we get a couple weird stuff with these, um, the, a, um, white lady from, um, now, but to be honest, if any of the ones had to be killed off, I actually, I do like, I do, but if any of the characters did have to actually be killed off, I am glad it was him, as opposed to any of the three lady, uh, women, because they were actually more tolerable. And seriously, I was a free, but that was dropped due to um, Jenna Coleman initially. It, um, the other two, Ashley's um, the black lady who, Ashley's the black, but, um, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, um, but I'll discuss more about Clara here. I, but I'll discuss more about Clara in series nine, in the series nine. Oh, excuse me. It's thanks, thanks. I think that's there been rumored slash seen on as they've apparently been. Um, as for these guys though, I'm not so worried. Um, so actually this time round, which is I think why he's Steve. But you know what? It would be fine, but then. The, but that's not the. But the problem is. It's. However, whilst. It's not even before the title. Not even. It. Um. Yeah, some of the actual companions of the show who. Um, some of the main companions have never gotten their t names in the titles. Bruno Langley, who played Adam, never got his name in the titles. And, uh, Noel Clark never got his name in the titles. John Barrowman didn't get his name in the titles in Series 1. Um, Elizabeth Sladen only got hers in the Series 4 finale. She didn't get it in School Reunion. Um, Arthur Darville didn't get his until Series... Arthur Darville didn't get his in Series 5. He had to wait until A Christmas Carol. Um, and uh, I think that's based... And, and Alex Kingston will only get it for The Husbands of River Song. Never in any of her other stories. Not even in Series 6. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, whether John Barrowman has his, have his name in the... John Barrowman also didn't get his one in the future of, of the Jadoon, but that was a surprise appearance. But he may not get it for Revolution of the Dark. We, we'll see when that one comes out. Same with Joan Martin and John. Same with Joan Martin, unless she's going to be a future Doctor, in which case it doesn't really matter. Um, John Hurtman, thankfully, got his name in the titles at one point. Thankfully, John Hurt did get his name in the titles. Um, anyway, so, but yeah, Nick Frost gets his name in these titles where some of the companions um, of the past and present had either not or wouldn't get it till later on, um, which is annoying. Um, moving on. I also am not so keen on the Doctor just leaving the crew with the Dream Crabs in what's in this what's revealed to be a dream where they wake up from the Dream Crabs. Oh, that's it! Right, we're off. Um, the what, what's revealed to be we're in it. We're currently in a dream that I also don't like when the Doctor and Clara and the crew break out of the dream that they are having, uh, which has sun. It's the one where we get. Okay, so the first dream is the Doctor and Clara. Dreaming about, um, and he and Clara probably still dream. Um, another, oh, one other thing, the reindeers are girls, Stephen Moffat, with the exception of Rudolph. Um, so overall, last Christmas, as a, but, um, it's um, but I think this one was a very complicated. If it was a normal episode, I think it would have been a fine episode. In fact, this is the first 12-rated Christmas or New Year special. Um, and Twice Upon a Time, Stephen in Blu-ray release has a 12 on it. However, that's more for special features. The actual episodes are PG. Um, so that's it. And it's not the and it's not the last and it's not the first special to receive 12. That was the Waters of Mars, the TV movie, if you count that as a special. Um, technically would also be a and it's, and it's also not the first of the new series specials to get a 12 rating. That would be The Waters of Mars um, five years earlier. And heck, if you count spe that would be The Waters of Mars. That would be The Waters of Mars five years earlier. 
And if you um, do specials for the whole show, the TV movie kind of counts as a special because it's a one-off. Um, so that one was technically the first one. That's the first 12 rated episode in the show, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that's my review of Last Christmas. Thank you for watching. Um, it, it was it was okay. It was, but yeah, it's it's all right. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for. Anyway, that's this. Anyway, that's this review done. Next time we start the Series 9 reviews properly with the first two episodes of Series 9, The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch's Move. The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch's Familiar. Oh boy. Anyway, next time we start the Series 9 reviews properly with the Series 9's first... Also, Merry Christmas. Ah. It's Christmas at the North Pole. Who are you going to call? Ooh, I like those shades. I think... I... <clears throat> it's Christmas. No, no. Good. It's Christmas. <clears throat> Ooh, nice shades. I might get some of those for the next series. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Nicholas Payne bonus content YouTube channel.